All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. So today is finally day. We actually have the shirt out here, the Clutch Carnage shirt from TJ Hunt. Only reason why I'm showing that is because we're finally gonna go ahead and get the Cobra fixed. You go ahead and see we actually have the charger here. We're gonna go ahead and hook up the battery charger. So obviously because the battery is getting hooked up, you can tell it is dead. It's been sitting for quite some time, a couple months. I have started it here and there, but I'm pretty sure the battery is just gone at this point. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just try to charge it up, jump start it, see if it works. But you go ahead and just see how dusty it is. Yes, I've been getting it washed from time to time. So it's not crazy, crazy bad. The, under the engine bay, I will show you guys that that is actually pretty bad. So huge shout out to these guys right here because I ain't never had a towing be early. So it was supposed to be an hour. It was literally like 20 minutes. <laughs> that is wild to see this thing back on a tow truck. We're finally gonna go ahead and get this thing fixed up. So we did go ahead and remove the bumper as you guys got, went ahead and saw. Uh, last time uh, they did actually rip off the bumper. So again, this time we uh, took it off before, so that way that didn't happen. All right, so the Cobra is officially dropped off. That is actually, we're gonna go ahead and get the clutch fixed. This is just the first part of this. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the camera once we actually uh, pretty much start working on it and get everything together. Uh, obviously the title of the video will tell you what clutch we're going with, but we'll go ahead and wait to show you until we actually uh, get to that work. In the meantime, we still got the daily, which is amazing. I love the Q50 Red Sport. Things quick. We are filling up on some E85. It has been a minute since we pulled out the Shelby GT500. Uh, as you guys go ahead and see, we're still on the beautiful four stars. So we got the main product right here. It's actually Mantic Clutch. We're gonna go ahead and be throwing this piece in here to the Cobra to finally get that thing up and running. We have the Shelby right in front of us, looking really, really good. But again, huge shout out to Mantic Clutch to sponsoring this piece right here. Let's go ahead and pull it out. You go ahead and see it comes in the case. That's one of the like best pieces right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. All right, sliding this bad boy right out. So I can tell you right now, this feels very secure. I'm gonna pop the handles off. So damn good. So this video is a little bit misaligned, but again, it is taking a couple days for this progress to actually happen. Uh, with that being said, again, beautiful Mantic Clutch here. Very, very thankful to be working with them uh, for the Cobra. Again, we have the Shelby right there looking so damn good. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually leave the GoPro 9 here for some time lapses. So the pieces that I'm not actually here while the car is getting worked on, uh, we go ahead and still have some video of the progress. But man, I am looking forward to having this Cobra back on the road and destroying Hellcats just as before.
But because I had to put on that 500 miles, I will go ahead and say we're probably gonna end up daily driving this car uh, for a little bit of time until we pretty much hit that mark. So I'll definitely make another video regarding that experience because honestly, daily driving a Cobra in 2023 is gonna be quite difficult, uh, especially in the summer heat out here uh, when it's getting to you know 110 uh, plus. So definitely crazy out here, but we'll definitely see how it goes. And again, a huge shout out to my compa over here for doing the work and a huge shout out to Mantic Clutch for uh, sponsoring uh, part of this video here. Definitely helping out and uh, definitely super, super appreciative, uh, especially that it helped get the Cobra back on the street again. to see that but i'm literally about to touch the red there so we definitely need some gas we're gonna go ahead and head over to the e85 station uh, it's been a while since I actually filled up on e just because we've been driving the 5.0 for so long So fast forward to a couple of months now, the Cobra has been running smoothly and I definitely wanted to make sure, obviously I got the break in miles before I pretty much ended off this video. So we just hit about 700 miles with the new clutch and yes, the 500 miles was the breaking point. So since then, uh, about that 200 miles, I have been driving a little bit more on the aggressive side and I am beyond happy with how the clutch has been performing. It has a quicker response for sure and I'm actually very pleased that the chatter of the clutch, again, whenever you kind of go with these higher horsepower clutches, uh, there is usually quite a bit of chatter compared to stock and OEM. I am very happy to say that the chatter is not bad at all. So the car is damn near 100%. Uh, actually, right after we did the filming, uh, you guys will see right after this clip. Uh, however, it pretty much, the Cobra died, the alternator, it finally died. I've had the car for, again, a little over two years, almost three years now, and the alternator has not been replaced, so I've had the stock one ever since then, and we finally were able to replace it because it finally died. Uh, luckily, our boy Frectic had the jumper, so we were able to jump the car and pretty much get it home that night. And no joke, it literally died right here as I pulled into the driveway, and I pretty much had to jump start it again to just get it back up onto the driveway where we were able to replace it. So again, I just definitely wanted to make sure I was able to enjoy the car for a little bit before I basically gave you all the recommendation. But again, very, very happy with the new clutch. So I definitely appreciate every single one of you watching this video. And again, I'm super happy to have this car back and I cannot wait to see what we do with it. I did make a big purchase and this time it's not performance. It's a little bit more on the cosmetic side. However, I'm very, very happy to pretty much start working on this car again and start improving things rather than consistently having to fix things. We still need to rebuild the supercharger and we're probably gonna have to re rebuild the rear end soon enough. However, as of right now, it's driving, it runs, I can step on it, it does strong pulls and we're probably gonna be racing a GTR soon enough with this one, so stay tuned for that. Noise, noise. Please don't die. That's, there's no way, bro, this is a brand new battery. Refractic to the rescue. <laughs> Hopefully I get home. <laughs> Alright, but well, I appreciate you though. <laughs> I love it, bro. Goddamn Cobra, bro. Bad thing for Cobra.